Oh, thanks for joining me. This is uh, Jeff Jacobs here from MetJeffUK.com. It's your 15-day weather forecast for the UK and Ireland. Let's start off by looking at the uh, latest ensembles from uh, the ECMWF and on the right-hand side, the GFS. Um, normally I favour the GFS over the ECMW, but today uh, it does tie in with my long-range forecast, which was dated on the 11th of March, and uh, I was expecting it to turn cooler towards the end of the month and uh, indeed more unsettled and uh, looking at the um, ECMWF it's got highs out to the west and lows over Britain with generally a much cooler northwesterly airstream um, whereas the uh, GFS has got highs in the Atlantic here uh, and low pressure beginning to form over Iberia moving east um, yeah I'm not too sure about this one uh, I rather favor the uh, the ECMWF well we've got um, high pressure in the Atlantic basically here and uh, low pressure beginning to form over here with a sort of a, a cool fetch from the north or north west so difference of opinion there um looking at office charts at the moment anyway uh high pressure beginning to form we have got low pressure crossing the country during Wednesday, but I think this one's going to um, fizzle out. And uh, the next thing we got to watch out for really is uh, towards Friday, where low pressure looks like beginning to form to the southwest approaches and uh, moving gradually north over Ireland was spreading its fronts across western districts especially now higher pressure would have got itself well and truly established over Scandinavia that's going to bring east or southeast winds off the continent so it looks like turning quite warm over central England uh, southeast England and north of the country of England you know and indeed over Scotland as well seeing some of this heat um, but western districts looks like being attacked by this uh, frontal system which with all the um, warmth that's going to be about will readily turn to thunderstorms I'm afraid so it's looking like uh, the weekend in the west is looking rather unsettled with rain or thundery showers at times uh, but there will be some sunny intervals still and it will be relatively warm um, nevertheless uh, eastern districts on the other hand looks like staying um, drier for longer uh, but even here I think as the low begins to track more towards the east um, we're looking at some unsettled conditions and thundery conditions as well. Um, what are the bank holiday? Well, here's our low pressure system over Ireland with associated frontal troughs and pressure beginning really to fall over the country but still quite warm. Uh, I think I got the right slide up here. Um, yeah, this is this is Bank Holiday Monday. Now, hmm, looks a bit iffy, doesn't it? I think uh, I would rather put this low pressure further west. Um, 
more like here and higher pressure beginning to establish itself uh, sort of here and really that means that basically um, in fact what I'll do I'll put that line in a little bit further safe for you um, I would say that north of that line it's going to be relatively dry and warm and south of that line um, looks like it's going to be rain or even thunderstorms at times uh, so so basically dry uh, here and sort of thunderstorms over this area here so a typical bank holiday although one thing is for sure it won't be very cold it's going to be very warm if not hot in places and in the sunshine because uh, there will be some sunshine at times it'll feel very pleasant indeed so it's hopefully that so you'll still be able to enjoy your bank holiday this august but what of the future well going ahead to the uh, end of the month uh the 4th of september in fact uh into the beginning of the next month um as i as i i think quite correctly predicted back in march we would end up with uh, a northwesterly flow so uh, if anything i think this probably um it's underplayed i think the high pressure will be more ridging up here and the lower pressure will be more or less there so I think we'll be getting a sort of a a northerly track of winds coming down in the beginning of September so um, mm, not a very good uh, direction any time of the year and notice how it's beginning to cool off now over Greenland and Iceland and to the north so really quite cold weather beginning to develop already and this is September uh, just so could this be the sign of things to come um, I'll give you a full winter uh, autumn and winter forecast on the 7th of September but until then you know what I'm going to say Whatever your weather, enjoy it. Bye for now.